This video will go over gene structure of bacteria versus eukaryotes. Bacteria have a simple gene structure. RNA polymerase binds to the promoter if there is no protein blocking it on the operator part of the gene. The RNA polymerase reads from 5' to 3' and then stops at the transcription termination at the end of the gene. After the promoter and before the transcription termination factor are UTRs, untranslated regions that don't aid in forming the final functional protein. One gene in bacteria is called an operon, and one operon creates three proteins that are related to the same function, like for example, sugar metabolism. Each protein has their own stop and start codon. Remember that promoter and transcription termination sequences are two different things. Because bacteria have no nucleus, the rRNA can easily create the proteins even at the same time the RNA polymerase is transcribing the DNA. Eukaryotic gene structure is much more complicated because eukaryotes need thousands of different proteins to make a multicellular organism work. Eukaryotes have a promoter, a transcription termination, have UTRs, and are transcribed by a primary just like bacteria and genes. The big difference between the two is that instead of an operator, eukaryotes have a long enhancer sequences that transcription factors protein launch onto that either aid or block the RNA polymerase from latching onto the DNA, and that eukaryotic DNA has introns and exons. Exons are actual sequences that code for the protein, and introns are basically jumped in between those genes. When RNA polymerase is done transcribing, then the primary transcript is made that still contains the introns. After splicing, all the exons are put together along with the UTRs to make the functional gene in a 5' cap and a 3' polyadrenaline onto the mRNA. The significance of introns and exons is alternative splicing. You can splice up the introns and exons of a eukaryotic gene in multiple ways, including some exons, allowing for one gene to be able to make multiple proteins useful for a multicellular organism. Keep in mind, all these things happen in the nucleus, and mRNA has to be transported out of the nucleus to find the new RNA to make protein. 